remind me to never wear a hoodie ever again. Especially if something as simple as an article of clothing has the potential to self-incriminate me and discriminate me and serve as an invitation for bullets to penetrate me that fateful day when that cavalry, sweaty, unsteady trigger finger summoned slugs pushed and propelled by evil itself out of the battle of injustice to wiggle themselves into the body of a young man whose only crime that day was moving too slow to dodge gun. A young man whose baritone hadn't even developed long enough to produce a cry of help strong enough to ring bells of freedom. I'll never wear a hoodie ever again. Unless, unless it comes equipped with titanium breastplate and bulletproof soda can. Because the threads embedded in my sweater could never hold hands tight enough to repel the darts of oppression. Excuse me, but I thought hoodies were supposed to shield us from a cold world. But lately it's becoming increasingly difficult to, to gauge the temperature of the human heart. And I've realized that no amount of fleece could knock the chill off sub-zero intentions. Racism was an invention. So that when Trey faced the gates of equality and acts that they would let him in, they responded with bullets and messages that said to him that his skin possessed a little too much melanin to let him settle in. And to me, that's crazy. That for that reason alone, somebody would burglarize a temple of God and steal life from it. I'll never wear a hoodie ever again. Unless, unless a pool of his blood transforms into rivers of influence that change our current way of thinking. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather shiver than be a target. And I too am Mr. Martin. Thank you. Woo!